just got a parcel through today, Saturday, so uh, I know what it, I know what's in here. And I've been waiting for it for some time, so I'm just going to open it now. It's all wrapped up in vacuum pack. In case the parcel gets wet, that will protect it from the water in the post if it rains. So, lots of bits, lots and lots of bits. Hello everyone. Right, car kit that came the other day. You've just seen it being unwrapped with all the other bits I got. Uh, this is the BN2 Fudelstein. I think I, I think I pronounced that right. Uh, again, another BE2, uh, BN2T. There's quite a few of them in this range, but they're different. Uh, I believe this one was a thousand millimeters. Yeah, thousand millimeters, one meter um, narrow gauge railway. It was built for a company in Germany, uh, actually in Berlin, to run on a narrow gauge track over there. Um, and it was special, purpose built for that that company uh, uh, in 1891. Uh, in 1905, it worked. Uh, I'm not sure why it's 1905. But 1904. Oh, 1904. It was sold to somebody. I'll have to translate this for you. Um, I don't actually have it at the moment. Uh, again, this kit requires 0.5 mil card and 0.1 mil card and the same thickness of card. Well, before we get on to that, I'll just check this out. I've already put in this kit two lots of uh, 1 mil card. Well, I thought I did. <laughs> I've got one, one sheet of 1 mil card and two sheets of 0.5 mil card and a 220 gram sheet of black. I'll use this. Uh, black uh, for putting on the extra bits and pieces that I need to put on there uh, in black especially not straight lines like well I mean this is in red I've got a red sheet as well that will go along here and I'll cut that out of a solid red card instead of the part and I'll put that on there it looks much better uh, so that's that uh, Let's go on with the kit now. The instructions there are one, two, three, six pages of instructions. No, uh, five and a half pages of instructions. This, this one's parts here. Uh, and uh, two, four, six, seven and a half pages of parts. Uh, now the way they do this is it goes through their new machine and prints four A4 size sheets on one sheet. It's a uh, A2 sheet of paper it goes through. It means they, they can use it for two A3s or four A4s on there. Um, Let's have a look at the instructions first, and you can you get an idea of what's what's involved. Uh, typically, we start with the chassis, then the wheels, and then cylinders and brakes, and they go on to the boiler and the uh, coupling rods and all that sort of thing here. Actually, do we? I, I might have missed out a section there. Yeah, yeah. Well, in this one it says build the track, which you, you should do need when you're building your loco itself. Uh, then you've got your brake system underneath the loco, uh, the valve gear, uh, other bits and pieces to do, and the boiler. Put the foot plate on, uh, check the wheels out, 
uh, for the coupling rods and uh, other items. The firebox, the inside front of the cab there. You come back on here. We've got the cab being finished down here. The boiler's finished up here with all the parts numbered and that. And there, I think there, yeah, this one's got two parts. You can fit either one. Uh, that's these two pipes coming down here as one. Or you can fit a uh, a cover here to cover up the pipes. Uh, I'll have to go to the instructions to find out which one was which when it was first built. Uh, come on to the last page of the instructions. Uh, popping the roof on basically. Uh, doing the light and doing the buffer beams. Uh, the buffers. Uh, so, all in all, not too bad a kit. It's actually uh, shouldn't take you too long to build this. Um, as you can see, I'll, I'll show the parts here. Actually, they're upside down for you. Uh, got a smoke box, boiler, more parts for the smoke box, and uh, no. fire box. Uh, there, not the smoke box. Uh, chimney on here, the dome's on here. Some of the cylinder parts are on here as well. On this side, we've got the frames and bits and pieces. Buffer beams, you've got wheels here, these have got separate spokes you have to build into the wheels. And I'll come to that in a minute. And I have been doing some sketching on here just to, just to make a note for myself when I'm building it. Um, on here it's got the brass parts and they actually are printed in brass, uh, a brass coloured uh, metallic metal paint type of stuff. So, if you're very careful cutting out, you can actually glue this up and have, a, have the brass on there. Me, I'll probably cut them out and sand them down, smooth them over uh, to make them a nice round finish on the bell. And then uh, we spray it with the brass from uh, uh, Mr. Colour Metals or something like that. Oh, you've seen that one. Here we have the inside and outside of the camps. You notice there's a bigger um, water tank on this one. It was specifically ordered when they built the loco. It's a 1200 gallon tank and fuel, extra fuel, so it can run longer. Again, we've got the back part of the cab and the roof, both parts inside and out. Uh, one of these is backed up onto 0.5 mil, so these two, and these two are then glued onto the other side. Uh, some small parts here to do. And the last piece is the display track on the back here. Now, you're on the back of the cover, you've got some nice photographs here of the actual model, which I don't like to destroy because I'm using this. If I cut this out, all those will be destroyed and lost. So what I do is I usually uh, scan this in, print it back out, and then build that one and not this one, and leave the front and back cover in one piece. And the instructions go in here, and then it goes back into my collection. Last thing I've got here, I'm going to put this black card down here. It's also what, easy for the black card, is the laser cut parts on it you can see there's a lot of numbers and names and bits and pieces on here they go on the side of the loco they're all recessed in uh, uh, raised I should say not recessed raised lettering and uh, numbers we also have the four wheels here or part of them but turn it over this is why I bought this the wheels are spoked, as I said before. Now, it, on the kit, you have to build each individual spoke. It's worth the money, just get the laser cut parts. And uh, you can put them together and make sure they line up. That's the only thing you've got to worry about, is lining everything up. And the two holes here do a good job. If you make a jig up, so you've got a 2.5mm rod coming out of here, and a 2mm rod coming out of here, parallel uh, or upright and then you can pop the wheel on there get the next part pop it on there next part pop it on there and it will be lined up and you can glue them all together and put a, uh, a heavy weight over the top to 
push them down and keep them flat while they're dry. Uh, same as the coupling rods here. They are fine details on the coupling rods. Um, the laser does a very good job of cutting those out for you. Uh, it, I have trouble with very small circles. Uh, but apart from the fact I can't actually see most of them, so <laughs> not well anyway. Um, so this does a good job for me. It's uh, the cu the couplings are here for the um, for the buffer be uh, for the buffers. They've got a different type of coupling over there for the narrow gauge. So that is the laser cut parts. So that's the kit. I'm gonna pop those inside inside here so I can keep them all together and uh, ready for the build which will be a while because I've still got the other one to do so that's the BE2 125th scale <laughs> so <coughs> for now for me and Carla I'm gonna say thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this subscribe ring the bell and I'll see you next time in a new video so for me and Carla have a good new year see you all soon Bye for now.